Hi and welcome to tutorial 5. Um, in our previous tutorial we wrote a servlet and um, used XML configuration to um, you know, provide information to Tomcat about the servlet. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to look at uh, parameters which uh, the servlet can use to give uh, more customized execution paths. So um, let me open up the XML servlet that we created in our previous tutorial. Um, I was too lazy to do this in the earlier tutorial, but let me do that now. Instead of uh, system.out, let me print something out to the response so that we have a more interactive uh, way to check this. So I will get the response object. Uh, one thing I'll do is I'll set content type. Uh, I'll, I'll come to what I'm doing here by the set content type method. So I create a new print writer and print some text. Yeah, that should do. Okay, so I have printed a hello user message and uh, when I run this, okay, it's automatically deployed, so I don't have to uh, deploy it again. Say run as run on server. It says hello user. So um, let's say I want this to change uh, depending on who the user is, and uh, I'm willing to take a parameter to this server. Uh, the way you pass parameters is by, uh, there are actually two ways. One is using a URL parameter and other way is using a post parameter. So uh, it depends on what method you're running. If it's a, if it's a get method, like what we're doing now, we are, uh, we are calling the method by typing out the URL. So if we're doing that, then we use URL parameters to pass such data. We'll come to uh, post parameters later. So. Uh, the way I would pass URL parameter is with a question mark and uh, say username equals Kaushik. Now if I pass this, nothing happens, nothing changes. It's still going to call the do get method and it's still going to print this. So the only difference is that uh, the parameter that I pass here which is the username, would have been sent to this do get using this request. So it's up to me to pick that value from this request object and do something with that. So that's what I'm going to do next. So um, what I'll do is I'll take this name. So I'll say string username equals I'll call this method of the request object called the get parameter. So in this, I'm going to pass the name of the parameter that I've sent in the URL. So I have that value stored in this username variable here. Now, it's as simple as appending this value here. save to let Tomcat reload this. Okay, there you go. Now I'll access this again. Now see what happened. 
this parameter, the value that I am passing here, is being passed to this toGet method through this request object. I am taking that request object and I am getting the parameter that I want, which I know I am passing over there, and then I am going to print this. So, what if I change this name here? That name is going to get passed over here. So, no matter what I pass here, that is going to get passed through the request object and I'm, I can access it over here. So, this is very convenient. So, you can, um, you can actually have a number of parameters. I, you know, I can, I can say, uh, I can put an AND here, an ampersand character, and then I say a user ID equals something. And uh, I can actually call another request or get parameter. I can have another string here and say request dot get parameter user ID, and then I can capture this ID as well. So uh, this is one of the ways in which you pass uh, parameters to the servlet method. Uh, there is another way we can do that, and that is by using a post method. So uh, Let's do that. Uh, I'm going to close this. In order to pass a post parameter, we need an HTML and we need a form. So uh, let me create a simple HTML here. HTML file. We'll call it simple form. Okay, I'll leave it at the defaults. Okay, so I have my simple HTML here. Um, I don't need the title. I'll remove that. Um, in order to make a post request, I need to have a form in place. So uh, let me create a simple form. I need to give an action, which is the target that gets executed uh, when I submit the form. So I will pass this servlet path because this is where we are actually reading the we are reading the the, the parameter that submitted. Okay, so in this, I'm going to create a simple text box with a name. as username. Now why am I calling this username? Because whatever value is typed here and submitted in this form is going to go to this servlet as the parameter. So uh, whatever I type here will go as parameter username. Okay, now just have a submit button. save this. Okay, I have an extra form here. Okay. Uh, this is actually still calling the do get because uh, when a form is submitted, it actually uh, defaults to a getter method. So in order to make it a post, I will have to first specify this form as a post request. And I also have to implement a do post. Right now, I only have a do get. But uh, anyway, let's test this once and make sure the get method runs fine. Run as and run on server. OK, now this is this HTML is called. And then I have a simple text box and the submit button. Just type something and say submit query. OK, so as you can see here, the XML servlet path 
which is the path for our XML servlet is called. And then the username equals ABC is sent as get parameters. So it's actually, you know, rendering this text. Okay. So now in order to submit a post request, I need to make those two changes. One is change this form to submit a post request and then implement a do post. First, let's do the do post. It's, uh, it's actually very simple. All I have to do is copy this method and uh, just change the name of the method because everything else, the signature is exactly the same. So let's make this do post. So uh, we'll just change the text so that we know that the post method is called. So this is hello from the post method. This is hello from the get method. Save this. In the form, in order to change the method, all I have to do is write a method equals. Okay, as you can see, it, it actually uh, auto. Fills the you know the two options that we have here get and post. This is Eclipse doing the auto complete. So I say method equals post. And I save this. Can go back. Here you don't see any difference because uh, there's nothing changed in the UI. What's happening is that the form method has changed, which you which you obviously cannot see in the front end. But I will submit the same text. Press submit query. Okay, I believe the refresh has not happened, so let me uh, go ahead and do a refresh so that you know the, the page reloads, and I'm going to do a submit query now. Okay, now we can see it says hello from the post method, so we know that the post, the do post, has executed. But one prominent difference that you see here is. You don't see the query parameters in the URL. So uh, the request has gone inside the the request, the HTTP request body. So you don't actually see it in the URL. Um, this is the main difference between a get and a post method. So in the get method, you actually see the you know the parameters in the URL, and in the post method, it goes as a part of the request body. So you don't you don't explicitly see it. So uh, yeah, from here you can you can actually write uh, more parameters. You know, if you if you have more parameters in the get method, you actually see that in the query uh, you know URL. And uh, if you write it in the post method, you don't actually see it. But of course, you have to have uh, multiple inputs or multiple uh, UI entities here which submit those parameters.